scroll the race road channel. We're out here setting up some course. to the awards banquet for the 2023 race season last night. That was pretty fun. They did a really good job of putting that thing on. Today we are setting up the race course. I'm with the Desert Rats. I joined the club this year, or last year. And so we are out doing the GPS markings for the course right now. A little behind the scenes action going on. There's a lot of work that goes into each race and these guys do a big job. I mean, they're always out here marking course, um, exploring around, trying to get it figured out. Yeah, they are putting in a lot of man hours, spending a lot of money, doing a lot of hard work to get these courses set up. And this is just a little section of that to show you guys kind of what goes into it. So the award banquet was yesterday. I got, I tied for first in my class, but the guy beat me overall. So what that means is there were people, enough people in between us overall that he uh, he actually won and so basically the the race that I crashed and got injured uh, that one didn't count for my class but it did count when calculating the overall and so that actually costed me the championship but that's okay uh there were a lot of a lot of things I could have done differently. It's easy to say, well, this person or that person, but honestly, I got lost a couple times. A guy passed me last second on the first race, which was an illegal pass, but, you know, I could have uh, not allowed people to get so close to me, but I did. Um, and then there was the wreck. The guy ran into me, um, which I allowed again. I slowed down and I missed my shoot and I left myself open and a guy ran into me. Um, generally, you know, I'm pissed off in the moment, pissed off for that race, but you can't go around blaming the world because the world sits there and it will take advantage of, of an opening. It's up to you to give it the opening. And uh, so during the last season, I gave it enough opening to, to where people could hop in there and you got to change your riding. You can't take the woe is me stance and say it's the world's fault because it's really not. Just got to go faster and be more consistent. Now, would it have been nice to not have that last second pass happen um, that was off course? Yeah, I would have won the championship if that didn't happen. Would it have been nice if I didn't get run into? Yes, I would have won the championship if that didn't happen. Um, and then, would it have been nice if the course was marked thoroughly so that I could see it and not get lost? Yes, but everybody else saw it apparently, so. To, again, leapfrog it. I did all this just on Onyx. <laughs> did you? I for like an hour and a half. <laughs> what kind of backpack is that? The Prega. How are you liking it? Love it. Do you? Uh, it looks like that webbing is durable, which I like. It is, it is, but what I like about it, it's got the single harness on it. Yeah. And then these are wet bags. 
because they you twist them up. And oh, sweet. Back. I don't know how your drones would fit in that, and then plus I don't know if you would want them banging against anything. Yeah, they're pretty safe on me unless I go tumbling. <laughs> you know, you <coughs> number plate just yeah <clears throat> that'd be pretty nice have like a little basket yeah. i gotta have one of those weave baskets and just tie down <laughs> have like a little flower on the front <laughs> yeah, <your dog> too, <laughs> yeah, <little> yeah. <laughs> carry my dog around uh, it's a 450 it's a, it's a 17 i love the 350s yeah, that's, that's, have you ridden the new generation though yeah and yeah, not the fours. I've ridden the 23. Actually, last race season, the first race of the season, it, it used almost all of its oil. I came to the finish line. My clutch was surging, and like the bike was overheating. As I came in, the finish line is at Oriana at the first race. I think it was Oriana 100 last year. So we had to rebuild it, <clears throat> and then on the second race, it it was tight. And then you got taken out at our race. Yeah, I got taken out hardcore. As yeah, as I edged my way through the chute, I was a little worried, but then I started shifting up, and I actually accelerated and got to a good speed, and then I got hit. So I thought I was in the clear when I got hit, but jacked up my shoulder pretty good. That was a, that was a pretty good crash right there. I belly flopped pretty hard. Yeah. Yeah. Did somebody come across and hit you? Um, from the left-hand side, yeah. So I came around the chute this way. And I started accelerating, and somebody kind of came at an angle and whacked me this way. He had Bark Buster, so he went right through my arms. Anyways, this club is called the Desert Rats. They're doing a lot of hard work out here. Riding together a lot. It's a lot of fun. The hard work is worth it. So if you guys want to join, be sure to check them out. You can uh, look them up on Facebook or just message me, and I'll get you in contact with them. And we'll go riding go riding and mark course they need help with all kinds of stuff most of it has to do with riding so that m5b yeah. it's a good tire i use it well i have the golden tire on on this one because they're dot yeah but on my I, that's all i ride i've even started running the m5b front really I love the M5B in the biggest one, the 140. If I run a 130 on this, it'll just fall apart. It tears knobs off too easy. Yeah. So I always run the 140 and it seems to hold up really good. Run moose? Um, I'm, or tube. I am right now. I'm running the moose on the rear and then I have an oversized tube or a heavy duty tube on the front. Yeah. The moose, once they wear out, they start throwing you on the ground. So I've, I've kind of started going away from those because they're so expensive to replace. They're only lasting me about half a season. Same here. Yeah. All right, guys, I just wanted to give some of my Patreon supporters a shout out. I really appreciate them. Yucky Don't Eat is my newest one. Daniel Rausch, Brian Thomason, Mike Slater, Jason Froling, Jim Jolson Jr., Lance Darnell, Wade James, Kurt Kinghorn, Jared Bauer. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. You guys have helped a huge amount for my channel to grow and to keep making content, and you are appreciated.